Number 45. Suppose that the average velocity or the root mean square velocity of carbon dioxide molecules, which have a molecular mass equal to 44 grams per mole, in a flame is found to be 1.05 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. What temperature does this represent? All right. So what we need to do is we need a formula all right, that will relate temperature to essentially average velocity or root mean square velocity. Now we have one. It looks just like this, that V sub RMS will be equal to the square root of 3 times the Boltzmann constant times the temperature, all then divided by the mass of a mole, uh, excuse me, the mass of a molecule or atom, depending upon what we are talking about. In this problem, we're talking about carbon dioxide, and that is a molecule. So we need to find then the mass of a single molecule of carbon dioxide. Now, if you're wondering where this particular formula came from, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to a video I've done uh, detailing how these equations have come about. It's basically a general video on kinetic theory of gases. I think you'll find it very helpful, so check it out. Um, so what I need to now do is they're asking us for the temperature, so meaning I have to solve for T, okay? How do we do that? Well, simply basically square both sides. Right to start, we're going to square the left, we'll square the right, so we realize that we have V sub RMS squared will then be equal to now 3KT all divided then by the mass, right? It just, the square gets rid of the square root over here. So that should be fine. Now I gotta solve this whole equation, right, for T. So I gotta move these three terms away from T. How do I do that? Well, what's ever in the numerator on the right works down into the denominator on the left. What's ever in the denominator on the right We'll move up into the numerator on the left, put your little division sign in there, get rid of this line, and then simply just reorganize, I don't know what I'm doing, simply just then reorganize the T. And look, you just solve for it, okay? Now, do we know the uh, root mean square velocity? Well, they did tell us a velocity, right? And this is the value. We gotta make sure we have the right units for velocity in physics, and you know it's meters per second, so this is good, we, we have that. K is the Boltzmann constant. That's just memorized. Oh, we'll plug it in in a minute. And then we need to know the mass of a molecule of carbon dioxide. Did they give that to us? Uh-uh, they did not. They gave us the mass per mole. All right. So two problems here is what we need to do is we need to take the 44.0 grams per one mole, right? Anytime it's per, per, per anything, it's per one of that anything. What we need to do is then convert this into kilograms per molecule. All right. Why kilograms? Well, it's physics. So physics requires kilograms. So grams on the bottom, kilogram on the top, a thousand grams for every one kilogram. See you later, gram. Then I need to cancel the mole. So the mole will go on the top this time. Why? Because it originated in the denominator and I have to cancel it. So if moles goes on the top, I'm thinking, do I know a relationship between molecules can't write and spell, I can't talk and spell at the same time. I can't spell in general, so uh, talking, definitely, uh, I can't spell. So here we have uh, one mole per every 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, so cancel the mole. And we are now left with then the, why did I change the color? We are then left with kilograms per molecule, and that's what we were after, right? We want to know the mass in kilograms of a cert of a molecule. So take the 44, divide it now by 1,000, then multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And here we go. We have now a value of 7.31 or so. I'm rounding times 10 to the negative 26th. That 10 looks strange. Times 10 to the negative 26, and that is in kilograms. Right, basically per molecule. Good. So this is the this is the mass per molecule. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we have everything we need. So let's plug in now the mass that we just found. So it's going to be 7.31 times 10 to the negative 26th multiplied then by the root mean square velocity squared. So take that velocity of 1.05 that was given in the problem times 10 to the fifth. Square that bad boy. And then divide it by 3 multiplied by the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd. And plug it in all into the calculator. I'm going to plug in the exact value here for the mass. And then times 1.05 times 10 to the 5th. Make sure you square that. And then divide that result by 3 times now 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. Oops. 
Hold on one second. I forgot my parentheses. So just give me two seconds. Insert parentheses there. I forgot the parentheses in the denominator. Otherwise, the calculation is going to come out wrong. So here it looks like I get a value of about 1.95 or so. 1.95 times 10 raised to the 3. What do we have? 6, 7 times 10 to the 7th. And that is in Kelvin since we solved for the temperature. All right. And voila. All right, guys. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for tuning in. Help us out. Subscribe. Hit the like button. All right. And tell your friends if you can. Appreciate it. Take care now.